Hello, everyone. I'm Father Norm Douglas, pastor of St. Vincent Paul Parish, Akron, Ohio. Uh, many of you have probably told me that you've watched these videos over these last few months, and, and they were certainly an uplift for you. Hey, they're an uplift for me, because when I share with other people the good news of our God revealing his goodness and love and mercy and promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ, that's uplifting. I, I am reminded of what I really believe, but at times we need to say it out loud. There are times we need to share it. Uh, I want to talk a little bit, actually it's Good Friday here, but uh, and, and certainly uh, remembering Jesus giving his life fully on the cross. As you've heard me say many times before, he, not only do we understand that he died for our sins, but we put it in a fuller, richer way. Jesus Christ from the very beginning, when God so loved the world, he gave his son. Jesus Christ, his love, his love, willing to die, willing to go the extra mile, uh, willing to be throughout his public ministry, uh, put down, spat upon, uh, plotted against, all of that. He kept going forward. He could have so readily said, why do this? It's not making an impact. He could have even said that on the cross, on that Good Friday, looking down, who's there? Mary Magdalene, his mother, one disciple, John of all 12. Uh, even there, he had his moments, as we've said before. He said, my God, why have you abandoned me? On the other hand, we know that while he said that, still, he was caught up in his own suffering and struggle, legitimately going through a lot. But then getting out of himself, which he did so readily and inspires us to do the same, he, he instead focused on what everybody there that day was doing to him in a horrible way. And he was able to say, Father, forgive them. I know not what they do. Can you even imagine that? You know, a lot of the movies that are out today in public are movies about somebody's family member being hurt and people seek vengeance on, on that person and to destroy them. And, and that is so contrary to what Jesus did. It doesn't mean you don't hold people accountable, but it does mean in, in loving even those who are difficult to love. You pray for them and you seek their ultimate spiritual good and you don't live with that resentment for the rest of your life because it's toxic. So Good Friday, what's good about it is Jesus gave his love to the point of dying. So it was his love giving his all that is what redeemed us from sin, which is unlove or, or self-centeredness or indifference to the needs of others. Thankfully, Jesus forgave us and has inspired us to go the extra mile in our relationships too. Just want to mention briefly about the Easter vigil that's coming up actually uh, on uh, Saturday night. I don't know when you might be watching this, hopefully before Saturday night, or if not, at least hearing a reflection. The Easter vigil is considered the ultimate liturgy in the Catholic Christian tradition, going back to the first centuries of the church when at the Easter Vigil, uh, the people uh, started in darkness. Actually, they went all night in a, in a service. We probably wouldn't do that today. And in the morning light, they were reminded Jesus bringing people out of darkness into the light, and especially also initiating those first Christians uh, who came into the church and were inspired and, and by the witness and welcome of, of, of Christians of that time who were so countercultural because they were caring, they were forgiving, they, they reached out to the poor and the hungry and the lonely that so many people did not. And people were drawn to that and they were initiated at the Easter Vigil. Uh, again, that reminded that for them, it was dying to their old way of life or selfishness or indifference and being raised up with Jesus Christ to a new life of grace and goodness, of, of generosity and compassion, of going the extra mile, of forgiving the enemy. Wow, talk about being liberated from everything that weighs us down, any hate or resentment or, or, or indifference or, or fear or, 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 or sadness, all of that legitimate feelings, but they can weigh us down. Jesus Christ wants to free us all up. Easter is about that. And goodness knows we've been through a lot this past year, understandably. And, and, and we're still tired, but there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel. It seems that uh, uh, that vaccine, and, and hopefully we know, we've said before, Jesus Christ is our ultimate vaccine. 
and God works through to give scientists the, the ability to do what they're doing with these vaccines, but that we can go forward and uh, together and we can continue to care about one another as one humanity who've all endured this and, and, and need each other's prayerful support. In saying that, going back to the Easter vigil, uh, for us this Saturday evening, in terms of uh, the initiation, we, I may have mentioned this before, we have a, a woman who is uh, coming into the church, being baptized, and her five-year-old son, who's very excited about this. We hope that if you come to our church, St. Vincent, or you go to another parish, consider going to the Easter vigil. I know some say, well, it's long. You know, again, I'd ask you to reconsider. It's at 8.30 in our own parish. It's a couple hours. We're not starting in, in dusk and going all night till dawn. You know, we can have so many other distractions or interests which have their place. But really, consider coming to the Easter Vigil. If for some reason that's difficult, it's going to be live streamed. Consider watching and praying the Easter Vigil and the scripture readings that are there and the welcoming new people and the reminder that not only this woman and her son and another young woman are going to be initiated fully, we too, every time we come to Mass, in some sense are called to renew our baptis baptismal promises and believe that when we come to Mass, the Lord every day knows that we come there. Maybe there's some dying going on in our life, some hurting, some frustration, some anger. What? And the Lord wants to lift, lift us up and raise us up. And we need to be open to that and help each other to be open to that. Uh, now more than ever to give witness through all of this, that there's still an ultimate good. That as I've mentioned many times before, the dying and the, and the sadness and the resentment and the anger and the hostility and the violence and all that stuff, which is awful, that still does not have the final say and should not have the final say in our life as we bring forth more goodness, generosity, love, peace, joy, what the world needs. And again, it starts from within, and we share that with others. Have a great Easter. Enjoy it with, with family and friends. Hopefully, you can be with a few now. And remember, the ultimate victory is the victory all, over all sin, all death, for all time, in and through Jesus Christ. That's our victory. Hey, by the way, I know the Cleveland Indians just got going. And yeah, we want them to win a lot of victories at the same time. The greatest victory's already been accomplished. We can, uh, we can cheer that on and even say, hallelujah. God bless. See you again.